All right, legends, welcome back to your 25th video on jQuery for beginners. And if you guys are following along as I go, uh, I apologize. I took a couple days off. I bought Far Cry 3 on Saturday, and I haven't slept, ate food, or done anything besides play it. Uh, today's Monday. I beat it in two days. And a uh, little recap, it's probably the best first-person shooter I've played since GoldenEye came out for 64. I play a lot of video games. I was very sold on the uh, the Halo and uh, Modern Warfare series. And uh, I don't know, something about that game I couldn't put down. felt like I was a 11-year-old again. And uh, I wanted to stay indoors all day and play video games. That's how I felt. So welcome back. I'm sorry if I took a couple days off and left you guys hanging. If you're not following this video... July 29th, 2003. Disregard those last, whatever, half a minute I just blabbered about. Okay, guys, in this video, the third method that deals with set content is the value. And this is going to be a good video because it deals with, we can create a, a form for this example. We haven't we haven't created a form yet. We've, been just, we've just been doing hover and... Uh, click button and stuff like that to get our jQuery rolling. So let's go ahead and let's look at our code really quick. So we've got our, this should work for the last video. We can keep all this. We can keep all this except we want to use the span ID. Let's go ahead and get rid of this. Let's create our form. So let's go ahead and just say form. Um, this is how you do it. You got to do input. There's a couple there's a couple things we can do right now with our input type. We could either do text, which is just gonna show up as visual as visible text. We could do password, which will show up as those little dots, like the password dots when you log into something, like logging on Facebook or something, you show your password. It's just it's just little dots as you type. And then there's radio, which is just little buttons that you can click on or off. So We'll go ahead and create this example. We'll come back to that and we'll show those example. We'll show the example of radio, password, and text. And for our ID, let's go ahead and just pull in span. Be lazy and use this code up here. ID equals span. And the value, we could already give it something it's gonna say because this is the whole purpose for this jQuery method is to change a value. So we'll give it something and we'll call it sweet Josh, the name of my dog. And uh, that looks good. Now let's go up here and instead of the .html, this is how we call it in jQuery. This method is .val, V-A-L, no value, no U-E at the end. And let's go ahead and change the value. So we'll say release the hound, sweet Josh is my dog. And let's go ahead and open this up with a browser. Where's my root folder? Let's open this up with Google Chrome. Open it up in an external browser. I don't feel like dragging it all the way across into my primary browser, into my monitor. Sorry, not browser, monitor. So I'm going to open up this Safari. Okay, sweet Josh, release the hounds. We click on this and nothing happened. So let's go ahead and debug. ID span text. Oh, okay. Yeah, a little bit different now because we're using ID. So we need to go ahead and put the pound sign. If we were using class, we'd have to use the dot. So. Little things like that drive me crazy, but most of the time the problem's just right underneath your nose. And if this doesn't work this time, there it is. So I'll reload it, and we just change the value from inside our form to from Sweet Josh. We'll click on our trigger right here, release the hounds. Is my dog rock and roll? And I said I'd talk about these uh, these input types. So there's three: there's text, there's password, and sorry if I keep it into the mic like that. I'm still working out the kinks. See, just like that, you go ahead, type characters, it just shows up like password font. So obviously if you were creating a password login, you'd want to have your input type as password. And if you were creating a username login, you'd want to have it as a text. And then there's radio, which you've seen these little buttons before. Just like that, you click them on and off, yada, yada. Even this isn't clicking off because we haven't fully... Uh, created our form. We just got kind of a half-ass form. But we'll go back to text so we can see what we're talking about. And uh, it would work the same way. So if you had password right here, just like that, you're going to see, I don't think Sweet Josh and Is My Dog are the same exact characters, including um, Dead Space. So let's click on this, see if the password changes. There it is. It changed by one. It was one less character. 
All right, guys, good luck with this. Hopefully this value method made sense. And uh, we learned a little bit about it. forms. Now let's get away from set content and jump into something a lot uh, funner and more interesting. All right, guys, good luck. Sorry about the video being so long.